Just a reminder from your friendly neighborhood metalhead, if you like what you see, don't forget to click like and subscribe to The Heavy Underground. While visiting the city of San Francisco for Metallica's s 2 concert with the San Francisco Orchestra in September of 2019, a long weekend in town led to a look at upcoming concerts during the same weekend. One show stood out at the iconic Fillmore Auditorium, having hosted many legendary bands over the years, including The Grateful Dead, Jefferson Airplane, The Jimi Hendrix Experience, Pink Floyd, and Cream, among many, many others. A performance by the band Sun O at this historic venue was an obvious choice, and with nothing pressing scheduled for my final night in town on September 9th, the ticket was purchased without hesitation. Continuing to shift continental wind currents in support of their latest slab of heftiness, Life Metal, released in the first half of the year, Sun O complement their limited East Coast spring tour with a short run of dates around the western United States in the waning days of summer. Led, as always, by maestros Anderson and O'Malley, Sun O's 2019 retinue includes longtime live adherents Oren Embarki on guitar and Steve Moore and Toss Neuenhuisen on an assortment of digital and analog accompaniment. Touring without the band's legendary vocalist Attila Seahard this round, the focus is on the instrumental power of the band's overpowering sonic tide. Continuing to enjoy the service of Papa M to open the second North American leg, the addition of Montreal, Quebec's Big Brave fully rounds out the night's bill. Waiting in line to enter as Big Brave had already begun their opening set, a distant muffled heaviness opens up upon entering. I missed the first ten or so minutes of these talented Canadian soundscapers, but was bludgeoned into slow motion submission while waiting in the venue's well-organized merch line. The band's ponderous noise fills the Fillmore's hallowed halls with an abrasive edge that punctuates the band's slow glacial movements. With one guy gatekeeping the merch area and pulling people forward one at a time when a space at the counter opened up, I quickly picked up a t-shirt and the last display poster from the band's vendor. Turning my full attention to the final minutes of Big Ray's deftly crushing performance, the band's sly heaviness provides a fittingly abrasive open to the night. Taking the stage next, David Pajo's one-man sonic machine, Papa M, soon adds his echo to the space-time continuum. As a droning undercurrent gets underway, Brother Pajo's plaintive guitar picking begins to take shape. More dark and sinister than my last brush with Papa M during Sun O's Pittsburgh appearance in April, but rooted in a similar pattern and rhythmic flow, a different night almost five months later brings a whole other ambience to this night's rendition. While structurally similar to April, the differences offer an exploration of the maturity of this piece of music as it is clearly developed over the course of the year into a subtle piece of outstanding depth and delicate intricacy. Turning on the fog machines, a haze soon fills the room as the assembled crowd awaits the arrival of the drone lords. Before long, a line of hooded figures make their way on stage, and with one electric rush, a hefty drone joins the fog-filled Fillmore. Swampy drone churns through the air before the show comes to a sudden stop, and a series of flashing firelights precede the house lights turning on. Turns out, some local, out of concern for such a historic concert venue, called the fire department when they noticed copious amounts of fog pouring out of the Fillmore. When the band returns to the stage about five to ten minutes later, the fog resumes. However, the Fillmore's ventilation and fan system had to be turned on full blast, which diminished the effect for the duration of the show. Beginning again, the hooded drone lords retake the sonic upper hand. Rising on powerful swells of drone, Sun O finally inaugurate the evening's ritual. Throughout the night, turbulent billows of fog pass through the shifting and changing lights to form luminescent pillars and pyramids of near-tangible substance as nuanced sonic washes from Toss Neuenhuisen and Steve Moore thread the band's monolith of amplified sound. 
leading wave after wave of overdriven distortion, Greg Anderson and Stephen O'Malley, the Lord and Soma to the initiated, orchestrate a continual wash of subsonic sound and subtle inflection, with Oren and Barkey providing an additional six-string boost from the stage, Sun O weave a powerful drone expansion into the rich sonic tapestry of the Fillmore's storied history. Moving about the stage like silhouetted puppetry in a field of shifting light, the band's hooded presence only heightens the mystical effect as oral swarms rise and fall within the band's overwhelming maelstrom. Joined by Papa M's David Pajo and Big Brave's Robin Watty for an encore rendition of 2009's Alice, Sun O oh sends the crowd into the San Francisco night, having been vastly overpowered by the band's crushing sonic singularity. Starting the night with the full bore of Big Brave's hefty Canadian gaze already overpowering the Fillmore's storied halls, an atmospheric shift overtakes the venue as Papa M's singular offender slowly weaves a tapestry of elusive motion and restrained expansion through the San Francisco night. Having seen Papa M on Sun O's East Coast run earlier in the year, a deft evolution is evident in David Pajo's engrossing sonic journey as an added degree of intuition and inflection is reflected in another, even more outstanding performance almost five months past my first encounter. After our well-intentioned intervention by the local fire department, the long-heralded drone lords finally take the stage for good to lay waste to every eardrum within a four-block radius with their overwhelming sonic power. Rising and falling in unison, the five members of Sunno literally push and pull the air that surrounds us with great gusts of distortion, feedback, and droning synth. Moog pulses and acerbic washes share the air with desolate trombone as our doomed exemplars wield their overwhelming aural might for maximum effect. Throughout the night, turbulent billows of fog pass through the shifting and changing lights to form luminescent pillars and pyramids of near-tangible substance as nuanced sonic washes from Taz Neuenhuisen and Steve Moore thread the band's monolith of amplified sound. Leading wave after wave of overdriven distortion, Greg Anderson and Stephen O'Malley, the Lord and Soma to the initiated, orchestrate a continual wash of subsonic sound and subtle inflection. With Oren and Barkey providing an additional six-string boost from the stage, Sun O oh weave a powerful drone expansion into the rich sonic tapestry of the Fillmore's storied history. Moving about the stage like silhouetted puppetry in a field of shifting light, the band's hooded presence only heightens the mystical effect as aural swarms rise and fall within the band's overwhelming maelstrom, with Sun O's drone dominance reverberating through the historic Fillmore Auditorium and into the San Francisco night, the electrified crowd disperses, bodies still humming from the band's overwhelming amplifier discharge. With a minimalist approach to maximum volume, Sun O deliver another genuine and engrossing performance. Thank <laughs> you.